Hey guys, welcome to the Alexander Hamilton tutorial video where I'll show you how to play the piano part. If you haven't seen the original video of me playing Alexander Hamilton on piano and singing and rapping at the same time, please click up there. Um, so off of that video, a lot of people started asking me like, hey, will you do a tutorial for the piano part? So here it is. I want to say that, you know, I'm not going to teach you how to sing and rap and play piano at the same time, but I don't actually think it's that hard. I think if you work hard at it, if you just try over and over again, that you will get there. We're going to start the video uh, by not throwing away our shot and drinking out of our Hamilton mugs. All right, let's get started. So uh, the way the song begins is with this F sharp fanfare. Right, and this F sharp fanfare uh, has no other chord information is just F sharp notes and I like to have octaves in both hands F sharp F sharp F sharp F sharp and that way it just has a fuller sound um, if you can't quite reach an octave that's fine you could just do single notes and he follows that up with this motif so the motif is F sharp C sharp B and then A sharp. And in the recording, he actually does it in six. So it's F sharp with A sharp underneath, C sharp with E underneath, B with D underneath, and A sharp with C sharp underneath. So to put it together. After that, we get into the first chord progression, which he only outlines with the bass note. And that chord progression is B minor, F sharp major, G major, D major, and F sharp major with A sharp in the bass, which is also uh, F sharp major first inversion, back to B minor. So that chord progression just keeps going round and round for roughly the first half of the song. Our first additional chord information that we get is in the form of a skeletal chord. So we get F sharp and B, and that alternates with A and C sharp. So it sounds like this. the motif comes back, it's F sharp, C sharp, B, and then this time, instead of A sharp, it's A. So put it all together. And then we go to the next chord in the progression, F sharp major. And again, it's a skeletal version, C sharp, F sharp. And that alternates with B, E, so it sounds like this. And then the motif here is A sharp, F sharp, E, and D. Put it all together. And then here we get, here we actually get a third of the chord. So we get G and B. And that alternates with A and C sharp. And the motif here is B, A, G, F sharp. Put it together. And then here we just have a, a, a D major chord sort of played in quarter notes. And then uh, we go to our F sharp major chord in first inversion. So I'll play it all together. Okay, so that repeats again, but the second time it repeats, actually there's this like nice cello line in the recording, so I just kind of kept it in my arrangement. Um, and it goes something like this. So everything is the same. 
through the through the G major chord, and then when we get to the the D major chord, instead of just outlining the chord with sort of like these quarter notes, there's this cello line. So we get D F sharp A D, and then we get an F sharp major chord, but we have a suspension here. So uh, so we get B C sharp. A sharp, and then we also get the A sharp in the bass at that point. So if you put it all together, it sounds like this. Okay, now for the next part, we get sort of like this, this sort of like uh, eighth note thing. Sounds really cool, and, and we get a little bass line that goes kind of like... So that's C sharp. E and F sharp, and it's a little syncopated. So this, so so when the F sharp comes in, you think it should be on the downbeat. It actually comes a little bit before the downbeat, just to give it a little kick. So it sounds like this. And then he does it again when he goes to the the G chord. It's C sharp, F sharp, and G. So it sounds like this. To get us to the D, there is a little figure here. So it's not just a G chord, it's... So, and, and the way you do that is just, you, you keep these, uh, the, your thumb and index finger just hitting these, um, uh, the, the, the G and the B, but here we kind of use your fourth and third finger to do this. So if you just put that part all together, it sounds like this. Okay. So when we finally get to the part where Alexander Hamilton enters, then we get, we get a, a B minor chord and it's just a simple B minor chord but there's a little piano figure that kind of uh, follows him around. So, and the way that that goes is on the fourth beat, you go, put it together, it's B minor, two, three, four E and a one. Okay, and then on, on this F sharp major chord, there is also another figure that comes in and it is A sharp, F sharp, D, C sharp, B. And again, it's on the fourth beat, so we go two, three, four, E, and a one. And on the one there, you see that we've gone to the, the G major chord. And what happens here is we get our G and B, and it alternates with the, the D. And then this uh, B travels up to the D to get to our D major chord, and this G travels up to travels up to the A, and so it kind of sounds like this. sharp major first inversion there there are other variations to it too for example the part when Aaron Burr is sort of like rapping really quickly you just want to like hit it hit a B minor chord and get off it really quick and uh, go go to the F sharp major chord get off it really quick when he lands in New York and he's like just you wait we finally get a different chord um, and, uh, chord progression, sorry. And what that is, is B minor. So we still have that. And then we get a G dominant seventh. And the difference with the, um, just regular G and the dominant seventh is this F natural, which conflicts with this F sharp that we've been hearing through the B minor chords. 
Um, and it kind of gives it a little jazzy feel, right? So it's... So we get B minor, G dominant seventh, E minor, and then we get this F sharp sus four, and it's a sus because it has this B in the chord, and this B is suspended and resolves into the A sharp which is also in our base here for, for F sharp major chord. So um, that whole section is... For the next section, we get these quarter note chords in the right hand. When they say, um, you never learn to take your time, to me it actually sounds like it's going F sharp major to G major, back to F sharp major, so it sounds like this. And at this point, I think it's a great moment for the piano arrangement to go up an octave, so I, I, that's what I do when it comes back in on the F sharp uh, major inversion, first inversion, so it goes and then we repeat the chord progression up here and the, the motif actually comes back here so we can we can use it So there's a there's a variation here, and from here on out, it kind of doesn't follow that simple chord progression anymore. Now it's more complicated. So the E minor, instead of going to the F sharp major, it goes down here to a, a B minor first inversion. So uh, we have D in the bass, B minor, and, and then it goes back to an E minor chord. Okay, and then from here on out, we get a series of chord changes that just builds up until the end. So what we get here, um, if, if you want to follow the bass line, what the bass is doing is basically just walking us up, okay? And the chords up here follow. So we first we get F sharp in the bass, and we get a, uh, a, a B minor chord. D, F sharp, B is the way I like to play it. And that F sharp goes up to the G, and but we actually get an E minor chord up here. So E, G, B, and then uh, we go to an A in the in the bass, and we get a D major chord up here, and then we get that F sharp major invert, uh, first inversion, and then B minor, and then as the bass goes up again to C sharp, we go to an A major chord, E, A, C sharp, and bass walks up to D, and we get a uh, B minor first inversion again, and I play that with a F sharp, B, and D. Walks up to the E, and we get G, B natural, E. All right, so let's put that all together uh, in eighth notes. The bass drops down to a G, and we get uh, a similar run, but this time in the right hand, and it goes F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. 
basically just a, a D major chord starting on an F sharp. And so what happens at the bass is we get G, 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 and then when, when the right hand hits a C sharp, the G drops down to a C, C sharp as well. So we get... And then on this F sharp, we get some suspensions. First we start off with B, C sharp, so that's a, a, a F sharp sus4 chord. Resolving down to the A sharp. And now for this suspension, we get an actual uh, B minor chord in second inversion. So it's F sharp, B, and D. Back to the F sharp major. And then we get this really dissonant, dissonant chord, F sharp, E, and G, which resolves down to F sharp, D, and F sharp. And then Amber says, and me, we get this uh, C sharp seven flat five chord in kind of a really quick fanfare. So what that is is C sharp, and then we get B, E, G, B up there. That's the way I like to play it at least. And he says, I'm the damn fool that shot him. Let's go back to the run up. gotten there this final section is just sort of a really quick bunch of chords uh, I do an E minor first inversion so that's uh, G in the bass and the E minor chord A major and then I do a B minor chord and then uh, here we go to D major and D major with a C sharp on the bottom, and then D major with a B B on the bottom. And then we finally get back to this opening fanfare. But this time it actually has some chord information. We have a sus4 chord, F sharp sus4, resolving to A sharp. Okay, so let's put that all together. And so it sounds like this. And then he says, what's your name, man? And we get the motif again in six. Alexander Hamilton, and then you go big. So let's just do that whole ending section again. Thank you so much for watching. This is my first tutorial, so definitely a labor of love just being able to play this music that I love so much. And see you in the next video.